it's your girl Jackie Ina and today I'm going to be sharing with you my very first lingerie haul. This is my first lingerie haul. This is so exciting. Now this video is going to be quite different from other hauls because this is going to be a part of my Black History Week where I highlight black owned businesses and just bring them to the forefront to you guys. So what makes this lingerie haul very unique is it's not just any lingerie haul. It's it's from a brand called Nubian Skin. Nubian Skin was making waves when they first came out because they found a way to make different shades of nude for every skin tone. You know, somebody finally was like, yo, there's just more than one shade than 50 shades of beige. Hey, more than one shade than 50 shades of beige. Hey, more than one shade than 50 shades of beige. Hey! I wanted to talk about them because I just feel like anybody who does something innovative and cool should be highlighted, they should be talked about. And of course, I'm a woman and I enjoy the finer things in life, like lingerie, okay. I tend to wear a lot of like figure hugging outfits and a lot of people assume that I don't wear draws and that's not the case at all, <laughs> at all. I just know what types of different underwear work well with different outfits. So I bought quite a bit of the collection that they have so I kind of get a feel for like each product that they have. And I wanted to talk about it with you guys and not only talk about Nubian skin but also give tips and pointers on when you would wear certain types of underwear with different outfits okay let's go so I bought a bunch of panties that was what I was more drawn to because bras are kind of easy for me it's finding a good underwear I need a good underwear that I can wear with some of the type of clothes that I have that I'm like all invested in they have a few different styles this is a good old-fashioned classic song AKA a permanent wedgie. The thong, the thong, the thong, thong, thong. And there's something really unique about this thong. Like I'm a huge, 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 huge fan of this seamless material. I don't want a traditional old school cotton thong. That's just, but I feel like that's just the old school way of seeing draws. This right here, honey, is the secret to seamless underwear. This is my favorite material for all my underwear because it, again, is seamless. It's smooth, so there's no bumpiness, there's no lines. And what I like about this is there's like an extra added elastic band at the top to keep it in place, to keep it from like rolling around. I've not personally worn any of these underwear. This is a true haul, I, well, except minus the bra that I have on now. I really wanted to wear the bra. But anyway, I wanted to just sit here and like give you guys the newness and the freshness of the products, so it's kind of like new for both of us. This is also something that I would wear with like a really, really thick, any type of garment that's like thick that does not easily show seams. Um, I would wear like a thong, maybe something high waist too, because they're very comfortable with high waist. Okay, so this, this is the lace short in the color cinnamon. If you gonna wear these panties around your man, make sure you're on birth control. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna just leave it, leave it at that. This is the booty short. Wait, this is the lace short. This is the most the most flattering pair for girls with the donks, okay? Girls with the donks. I'll tell you one thing. The lace booty short and the thong, what the thong does to your butt, especially these type of like elasticy ones, is they make your butt poke out a little bit more because that elastic, it snatches you in from the back. It gives you that Kim K effect where you know it looks fake because the hips just kind of stop and then there's just no, there's just no blend. It's just like boom, bam. That's what a thong does to your backside and your man will either hate it or love it. I, my bet, my guess is that he's gonna love it, okay? And if he doesn't, <laughs> y'all may need to have a talk. Can we just be real? Let's just be real, all right. So basically, you, you can tell just by a man's reaction what the most flattering stuff is on you, girls. Like, just listen, listen to, look him in the eye. Let him guide you. Let him guide you. I feel like sometimes we just overthink, you know what I mean? But sometimes, you know, you just gotta really believe in him. And let 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 a man tell, hey, hey, chai. I'm not saying live for a man's approval. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying that sometimes men can kind of just see things that maybe we kind of overlook. You cannot wear the lace booty shirt with everything. I'll tell you, all this lace and crazy stuff, you can't wear this with the body contrast. I think of everything like, can I wear it with a body contrast? Okay, cool, but like, can I wear it with a body? Okay, but can I wear it with a body contrast? Okay, cool, throw it in the bag. So the lace up booty short, good for jeans wear. This is your lounging at home underwear too. And then the last pair that I got from Nubian Skin is the Fused Brief. This is the comfy but still sexy. Like, I can 
still be on my period and kill him. You wouldn't know. You won't know. This is the upgraded granny panty. This particular style can go several different ways. Okay, Victoria's Secret has a style just like this that's not as, it's just, it's a little less panty in the back because as you can see, there's just a lot of wideness back here. I like this one from Nubian Skin. However, it's just got a lot of surface area in the back. I wish it was just a little bit more of like a, um, I don't know what you would call that style, like more of like a sporty. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you shop at Victoria's Secret, they're little like sporty, okay, five for 25 table that I live at part time, okay? I'm always there and I'm always buying four or five at a time that little, you know the sporty underwear. This panty right here, in this material, is my everyday pair of panties. Every day, let me tell you, it doesn't show. It's completely seamless. It's comfortable. Let's really, come on. Like this is an actual pair of nude stockings. Most black girls, like our default nude is just wear black. And usually that works, but I feel like the black stockings takes it into a whole different look, okay? I went to Fashion Week last week and it was cold and I had to wear these Hervé Leger gowns to the Hervé Leger like runway shows and it was like, Hervé doesn't make winter wear. I know this whole conversation sounds very first world problem, I know, but hear me out, okay? So anyway, so Hervé makes like club types of dresses and it was like 10 degrees in New York for during Fashion Week and wearing black stockings just does not cut it. It just does not, it just makes it look like Parisian chic and schoolgirl chic and it's like you can't wear that with everything so it's good to know that for occasions just like that I have a skin tone pair of leggings that way my legs can be covered and um, this is the knee high pair I haven't tried these on yet but let me just get into them let me just wreck these right open so you can see I was like really excited about these because you know stockings and this is a nice it, it's a little bit no this is actually my skin tone okay so it's a nice rich brown you know sometimes the stretchy stuff kind of uh, does it look as dark when you wear it, when you stretch it out and wear it? So this is a small medium and the shade is berry and they look like that. So it's just a nice nude pair of hosiery that I can finally wear. Undetectable hosiery. Nubian skin, thank you. Thank you for thinking of all the other women that exist on the planet, okay? So those are the knee highs. Let's get into what I think is the most important the bras. So when you go on the website, all of the bras are basically categorized by color. So I would say if you're like a Beyonce, you're probably gonna be somewhere in the Cafe Olay shade range. And if you're like a Viola Davis shade, then you're you're probably going to be down in the berry. And then in the middle, it's like cinnamon and caramel. I'm somewhere in between cinnamon and caramel and I kind of wanted to buy a few pair of the underwear so I can kind of gauge which one I would like better. But as long as the underwear is brown, it will probably look way better than, alabaster okay and no offense I mean there's beautiful women that are alabaster but this is not nude reality for a lot of people even white people are fed up with this okay y'all need to do better I'm just saying so anyway that's actually not alabaster that's maybe like a pistachio okay I was a little dramatic with that so anyway all right so I brought two of the t-shirt bras my favorite type of bra is a t-shirt bra and I'll tell you why. I feel like a push-up bra is slightly overrated. I do guys and I'm a B cup, I'm a 32B and I don't have the biggest breasts but I also don't have the smallest breasts so I'm kind of somewhere in the middle, I'm, I'm modest. I have. I would consider myself a modest sized breast. I feel like the t-shirt bra doesn't get enough height because, well, the t-shirt bra is perfect for women like me because I just don't want the, oh, I don't want my boobs literally being pushed up into my chest. I just don't need that much lift, you know? I feel like my boobs on their own are, are kind of, you know, sitting on 22s and I'm cool with that. And then I feel like, I don't know, there's like different types of bras that have like no underwire and I hate that. Like I need some support. So I feel like the t-shirt bra kind of like bridges the gap between support and giving you slight lift without, you know, trying so hard. I, I like the push, I like the t-shirt bra. It's just a natural, it lets the breasts just lay naturally where they are and it just kind of just gently lifts them up in a polite society. In a polite society, a t-shirt bra is an everyday bra. And of course, obviously, it's ideal to be worn with t-shirts. Let me give you the T on the t-shirt bras from Nubian Skin. The only small bone to pick I have with their t-shirt bras, you guys, is they run small. They run really small. So I'm a 32 Brie. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a 32 B, bravo, all across the board from Victoria's Secret, <coughs> excuse me, 
if I'm if I'm shopping for a Target bra, you name it, it's always just a strict 32B, okay? This, I put this on and it like, I had to put it on the last loop and it was still like my skin was bulging over. I, I, I don't know what went wrong with their, with their sizing with these, but they run really small. It's uncomfortably small, like it would look small if I was wearing it. So I unfortunately, I can't really rock these bras as much as I would like to. And it sucks because the t-shirt bra is the one bra I was looking forward to having because that's the bra that I wear the most often. But anyway, I brought the t-shirt bra in the cinnamon color. And I mean, honestly, on camera, they're gonna look the exact same. I would say the difference between cinnamon, which is this one, and caramel, which is this one, is caramel is slightly like a warmer brown. Like I almost actually feel like this looks more like a cinnamon to me. In hindsight, on top of a t-shirt, it doesn't make a difference to your man. It don't make it, no one cares. It doesn't really make a difference. Honestly, these two are practically the same color. I just think it just depends on whatever your eye likes. They are pretty much the same. Caramel looks more like a cinnamon than cinnamon does. Still great bra, I'm just probably going to have to go up to like a 32C because the, the number is the cup size, right? No, the number is the inches. The cup size, how does that work? The cup fits fine, it's just the inches is what, so I would probably have to get a 34B, I think. By the time this video goes up, I'll, I'll figure it out. But anyway, yeah. Um, these run small, so I don't know what you would do to offset that. I think you would just have to go up another two inches or so. Um, just be mindful of that. I don't know if it says that on the website, but yeah, girl. Hmm. Now some styling tips for the t-shirt bra. Obviously you'd wear it with the t-shirt, duh. It's just pretty much like that everyday bra that you can wear every day under anything. Now the cup size of a t-shirt bra does tend to be a little larger. So if you're wearing something with a plunging neckline, it's probably gonna be a no-go. But other than that, like with the tank top or anything where you don't want the seams to show, t-shirt bra is going to be your girl. Okay, moving on. The bra that I have on now is actually the classic lace push up bra. This one fits like a T, there's no adjusting, there's no tightness, no discomfort at all. It's definitely pushing these like on 20, like normally they're on 22, but right now they may be on 26s. I, I'm not really concerned about patterns in the bra being showed through because this is such a thick, this material is so thick. So this type of bra is definitely not something that you would wear underneath the t-shirt unless you don't care about the pattern showing underneath. Um, it, would, it wouldn't be like something that I would wear with a body contrast just because it's just too much embellishment and it would probably show through the garment. This is more maybe daddy's coming home and you kind of want to like step it up for the t-shirt bra and you just want to like, I don't know, I, I feel like these bras are more, this is a lingerie bra, this is a sexy bra that you wear for an occasion and there's a few garments that you can wear it with but it's definitely, I feel, a bra that's more for show. Still a beautiful bra though, nonetheless. Well, I should mention the bras on the website, they're going for 40 euro, which I believe is about 50 US dollars. So it's about the same of what you would pay for a traditional bra. I don't know, someone's probably gonna judge me for saying this, but you don't have to like wash your bras every day. Like, I don't know if people know that. So you get a lot more use. I, f I feel like that's why bras cost so much more money. Um, you get a lot more use out of them. As for the draws, you better be changing your draws every day. Okay, so that's pretty much my haul and review and thoughts on the Nubian Skin line of lingerie. I know a couple of you guys are probably gonna be disappointed I didn't try the lingerie on. This could very quickly go from beauty channel to playboy channel and I'm not about that life. So listen, y'all just gonna have to go off these pictures on the website because I ain't the one. I really hope that you guys check out this brand and support this brand. It's awesome, the bras are so beautiful. Like it just feels like a really, really good quality pair of stuff, so check them out. And I don't have any coupon goals for you guys. Unfortunately, this isn't a sponsored video or anything like I bought the stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as much as I do. I would love for you to subscribe. Please keep coming back and be sure to never miss uploads. I'd love to have you join the Chucky Ina family. And hopefully I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.